Hi my friend how are you welcome to Joey's Tech and in this video of Joey's Tech we are going to solve the problem of making an integer array into a strictly increasing array with minimum number of changes let's see what the problem statement of this problem has to say so you are given an array of integers obviously, obviously this is about uh, an array of integers so there will be an array of integers given to you so this is the array of integers given to you now you need to find out the minimum number of operations required to convert this array of integers into a strictly increasing array so what a strictly increasing array going to be as you can see that the numbers are first increasing and then decreasing so we need to convert this entire array into an array of integers where the numbers are increasing from start to end so the example is going to be this you can see that the numbers are increasing only from start to end and the minimum number of operations required to convert this array into this array is going to be 2 because what we did we converted this 7 into 3 and we converted this 4 into 6 so two operations are required to convert this array into a strictly increasing array now how to solve this problem okay so one thing which is coming to my mind whenever i face such problems i always think about either lcs or lis or whenever it's an array of integers i always think of lis so you can see that we can have the lis as 1 2 and 5 longest increasing subsequence okay and obviously i can figure out that if i remove the lis i'll be remaining with two integers and that is the minimum number of operations required so how do i calculate the minimum number of operations it's going to be total number of integers which is 5 subtracted by the lis so it is going to be lis subtracted from the total number of integers so here we have the total number of integers as 5 and if i subtract the lis which is 3 i am going to get 2 as the answer so i am going to put this method in order to find out the minimum number of operations to convert this array into a strictly increasing array now there is more to this problem there is another case which i am not focusing on right now but i want you to watch this video till the end because i'll be taking up that case and that case is very important otherwise there will always remain a glitch in the algorithm of this problem so i'll be moving to my framework where i will be solving this problem of making a strictly increasing array using dynamic programming if you are new to my channel i recommend you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i release new videos like this and you don't miss out on any of the learning related to programming and algorithms now let's move to the framework so let's solve this now this is our uh, array of integers and uh, we are going to fill this array to form the length of the LIS that value will put in here and the subtraction of these two values is going to give us the minimum number of operations also there is one special case for which slight modification to the algorithm will be necessary so you watch this video till the end because that case is very very necessary to write the correct algorithm to solve this problem now I am going to initiate all these values to 1 I have already made a video on uh, LIS you can watch that I am providing the link to the video in the description box so let's compare the values so 2 is greater than 1 so I am going to add 1 to it it is going to give me 2 and that 2 is greater than this one so I am I will put 2 over here I moves one cell to the right now let's compare these two values I and J again 7 is greater than 1 so i add 1 to this value which is going to give me 2 2 is greater than 1 so i put 2 over here now j moves one cell to the right 7 is greater than 2 so add 1 to this value 
it is going to give me 3 3 is greater than this 2 so I put 3 over here I moves one cell to the right and J moves one cell to the left now this 5 is greater than this one so adding 1 to it is going to give me 2 2 is greater than this one I'll put 2 over here okay J moves one cell to the right this 5 is greater than this 2 so I am I will have to add 1 to this value it is going to give me 3 again and 3 is greater than 2 so I'll put 3 over here J moves one cell to the right now 5 is not greater than 7 so this iteration won't be considered now I moves one cell to the right and J goes to its space position now here 4 is greater than 1 so add 1 to this value it's going to give me 2 2 is greater than 1 so I'll go get 2 over here now J moves one cell to the right 4 is greater than 2 so I add 1 to this value it's going to give me 3 3 is greater than 2 so I get 3 over here now J moves one cell to the right 4 is not greater than 7 so this iteration won't be considered J moves one cell to the right 4 is not greater than 5 so this iteration won't be considered as well and this is going to end my search for LIS so as you can see the maximum value is 3 so that is the length of the LIS I am going to put 3 over here and my answer will come out as 2 so minimum number of operations required to convert this array into a strictly increasing array is going to be 2 now like I spoke that uh, there is a special case which needs to be considered which will require some modification to the algorithm otherwise the algorithm will not come out as correct for this problem let's see what that case is this is again an array of integers 1 2 5 3 and 4 the LIS that is going to come out of it is going to be 1 2 3 and 4 that means the length of LIS is 4 and uh, the total number of integers is 5 so 5 minus 4 is going to be is going to give me 1 which will be the minimum number of operations but as you can see in order to convert this array into a strictly increasing array there will require two minimum number of operations that means I will have to convert this 3 into 6 and this 4 into 7 okay or numbers greater than 5 I simply can't convert this 5 into 3 because that will not be a strictly increasing array just keep that in mind so what we are going to do there is a change that we need to make to our condition so what our condition is so whenever suppose I is here let's say I is here we first consider that 5 is greater than 1 or not or the value at i is greater than the value at j or not so one more thing with this we'll have to consider is that how much far 5 is from here so if it is too far we are not going to consider that iteration so how do we check that we are going to subtract the indexes first so i minus j is going to give me 2 and the values at i and j is going to give me 4 now the i minus j this subtraction of indexes has to be less than this subtraction of values that means that this particular integer is not very far from the previous lesser integer and there are not many integers in the middle consider this case over here so what i minus j is going to give me here it is going to give me it is going to give me 3 and what the difference in the value is going to give me it's going to give me 2 see this 2 is less than this 3 hence this iteration won't be considered if you think over it there are other integers so there is an integer between this value and the previously lesser value this is the catch which you have to keep in mind so let's form the LIS of this array as well and determine the minimum number of operations okay so let's move I here 
j is at its base position i'm going to initialize the lis with ones okay let's start from here now one minus zero is one and two minus one is one now positive integer means that two is also greater than one hence i'm going to add one to this value i will get two two is greater than one so i'll put two over here i moves one cell to the right we have two minus zero so this is going to give me two and five minus one so this is going to give me four so this satisfies my condition also this is five that means five is greater than one so i will add one to this value it's going to give me two two is greater than one so two comes here now j moves one cell to the right okay so 2 minus 1 is going to give me 1 and 5 minus 2 is going to give me 3. So this also satisfies my condition. Positive integer means that 5 is greater than 2. I add 1 to this value and I get 3 as the answer. 3 is greater than 2. So 3 comes over here. Okay. Now I moves one cell to the right. Move J over here. Now this 3 is greater than this one. Okay, so that satisfies the first part of my condition. Now let's check the other part. So i minus j is going to give me 3 because 3 minus 0 is 3 and value subtraction of value is going to give me 3 minus 1, 2. So this doesn't satisfy the second part of my condition. Hence this iteration won't be considered even if 3 is greater than 1, even if it is a positive integer. Okay, let's move j to the right okay 3 is greater than 2 positive integer okay but let's check the second part 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2 and 3 minus 2 is going to give me 1 this also defies the second part of my condition hence this iteration won't be considered okay and lis the value at this cell is going to stay as 1 now j moves one cell to the right over here, as you can see, 3 is less than 5. So first condition itself is not satisfied. Hence, this iteration won't be considered. Now J moves back to its base position. I moves one cell to the right. Okay, let's check this out. So 4 is greater than 1. Let's check the second condition. So it's going to be 4, 4 minus 0. And 4 minus 1 is going to give me 3. Now this defies my second condition so iteration won't be considered j moves one cell to the right okay four is greater than two okay but let's check the second condition four minus one is going to give me three and four minus two is going to give me two so this again again defies my second part and hence this iteration won't be considered again all right so j moves one cell to the right over here four is less than five so this iteration won't be considered at all the first condition fails now j moves one cell to the right over here the first condition passes that means four is greater than three now let's check the second condition so four minus three is one and 4 minus 3 is 1. So this satisfies my second condition as well because, because 1 has to be less than or equal to 1. That means the distance is not far. It is not far from the previously lesser integer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add 1 to this value. This is going to give me 2. 2 is greater than 1, so I will put 2 over here. And this finishes my LIS. Let me move J back to its space position. I'll remove this to avoid confusion. The length of the LIS is going to come out as 3 because it's the maximum value. I'll put 3 over here. 5 is the total number of integers and the minimum number of operations is going to come out as 2. Now let's quickly check the algorithm of this dynamic programming solution. 
So here is the algorithm if array i is greater than array j and i minus j is less than equal to array i minus array j see there are two parts of the condition like I mentioned then the solution i is going to be maximum of solution i or solution j plus 1. So you can implement this algorithm in a program and it's going to work. It is going to convert any array of integers into a strictly increasing array. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from this video. Do give it a thumbs up. Put down your doubts in the comment section. I promise I'll answer them within 24 hours. I look forward to help you with algorithms and programming. And only for this video, Goodbye and ciao.